Hey everybody, welcome to this new video of Solar Witch Ray playing Baldur's Gate 2 with no party and just the last save. In the previous episode, we had a mighty confrontation, a duo, a, you know, apex between uh, Ray and uh, the ancient red dragon Furcry. And we won. We killed him, had his scales, created uh, so the, dragon, the red dragon uh, scale armor. Uh, we sold it because, you know, uh, it's not necessarily better than the Baldurian armor. Um, and we already have items that give us a uh, pretty good uh, f protection versus fire anyway. Because we are kind of broke, right? We're kind of broke. We have only 8,100 gold, huh? <laughs> but we have some very good weapons, guys. Really good weapons. <laughs> anyway, so now what we're going to do, we are going in the Watcher, Watcher Skip. Very, very, very emblematic, powerful dungeon, uh, very difficult to do, um, where we have to defeat or seal the imprisoned one. Um, so we're going to try to to go as far as we can, at least trying to reach the level 5, because if we reach the 5th level of the dungeon, we will have the long sword plus 4 uh, Avangandol. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm saying it right, but this is what we are questing for and there is also some wonderful wonderful items in there and components as well to transform the flay of ages into a plus four weapon too which would be uh, uh even better and uh you know other different items that will just uh, be awesome to have okay so we're gonna begin that wonderful awesome quest and also we're gonna purchase at last the potion case and the ammunition case, which the sister, the sisters um, uh, at the the watch, the watches keep, uh, would be able to sell to us. But uh, we can all uh, the system, uh, the sisters of Galena, I think they are called. So let's uh, let's go, let's travel and see. No voice. I love I love the cinematics like that. It's absolutely fantastic. Okay, let's go. These runes of warding they speak of the imprisoned one and are sealed with the helm symbol. Okay. Wardrin. Oh, okay, Wardrin. Praise to the helm. Does this mean we have a chance, Odren? Does this mean that our duty is not lost to us? Be at peace, the sisters of Garlena. Solaris Ray has yet to hear our story, let alone agreed to aid us. We get ahead of ourselves here. Please accept my apologies, Solaris Ray. Watch us keep is a long journey from any nearby settlement and your trip could not have been an easy one. Um, I will happy just to know who you are and what you want. Allow me to introduce myself properly. I am a brother Audrin, currently the leader of the Knight of Vigils. Um, we are a small sector that, ha that was given a most solemn charge by the Vigilant One, Helm himself. A charge we are unable to fulfill, sadly. Indeed, Helm appeared to us during the time of troubles, when all God but the walked, uh, but he walked Faerun's as mortals. A great evil had been in prison, he said, and we were to be its keepers. 
Watch's Keep, this ruin you see before you, was once a great prison for the most terrible fall of the gods. It was abandoned for many, many centuries until Ham came to us with his news. The old prison will not hold this great evil for long, he said. Our order will have to maintain a vigil to watch for the day when the evil would begin to break the great seals and escape. That the day has come, Cyrus Ray, the great evil struggle within and has infected Watcher's Keeper to the point where we cannot bypass the creatures and full magic that blocks our path. It is our shame that we are too weak to get to the lower vault and enact the ritual that will strengthen the old seal once again. Our need is obvious then. We need a group to enter the keep and descend to the lower vault so they may repair the mystic seals. May you, may you do this, Sorrow Stray. Um, just what kind of creature is in prison there? We do not know. Helm called it the imprisoned one only, saying it was a being of great cunning and power, enough so that Helm himself was forced to deal with it. Wow. If enough of the seal remain unbroken, however, the imprisoned one need not even be encountered. We just do not know. That is why our need is so dire, right? I will help you, but I need to know what to do. You you will aid us? <sighs> praise to him. Praise him. He has answered our praise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. A brother Paul will give you what you need and explain. Uh, come, let us ascend to the top of the Watcher's Keep. In order to enter as well as leave, you will need the proper holy symbol. Talk to Brother Paul, he is our elder and can give you what you need as well as answer any of your questions. Hey, I know a fair amount of lore about the old seal within, the evil that has infected this place however, that I know little about. Any supplies you need can be acquired through the sisters Garlena. You may, uh, you may have access to all resources of our order, Cyrus Ray, at a fair price, of course, would that we uh, were wealthy enough to offer it to you for free. May the vigilant one walk by your side, Ray. I pray that your god blood lends you power enough to ensure your success. We all do. Okay, so first I want to talk to the sister Galena. You may have access both to our healing skills and supply as well as whatever equipment we have in store, right? Come, I will show you what we have available in our store. Okay, so this is very important because this is one of the few places where we're going to be able to buy two things at my knowledge. So let's see. The potion case. Oh, the sword of the uh, of the mask. Oh, it's a short sword, unfortunately. But yeah. but the potion case. Yep. Okay. So fir first things first. Let me see my charisma. Yes, perfect. As you can see, I have twenty one charisma. So all right. So let me buy first the potion case. Ah, I needed that so bad. <laughs> And what is this weapon? I'm just curious. Um, a short sword of mask. This blade is highly prized by those who served the Shadow Lord, as well as any who engage in shadowy business. 15% chance per hit uh, that the target is entangled for four rounds. Ah, but it's a, it's a short sword. But, uh, you know, entanglement, 50% to, uh, chance to entangle. I can see why it's interesting. There's a bunch of uh, scrolls. Okay, potions of healing. Okay, so you can see we have a very 
we have a very good price but even with a very good price you know and there look portion of healing nobody is 69 there we have it at, at 49 so we have a very very good price here uh but even though even so the portions of extra healing are super expensive like 300 gold per potion all right it's uh it's very expensive uh now i thought in there that they were also able to sell the an, an ammunition case but that, it doesn't seem to be the case ah there is also a restoration scroll which is very good at a decent price 500 gold is not too bad i already have a gem bag okay so uh i also i think she can wait what can she do okay she can identify and she can lift curses okay that's perfect okay so now we're going to put this at this right place i didn't sell that yeah I don't, I don't want to sell things to her uh at least artifacts just for a simple reason is because after the quest she will disappear so whatever i'm going to sell to her i will not be able to rebuy if need be so it's something that you need to keep in mind guys um okay so now i'm going to take all the potions And I'm going to put them here at their respective place. All right. So like that, we can maximize uh, the space that we have in our bag of holding. Even this, like we can put it in the jewelry section or bag, whatever. Even that can fit in the jewelry. Um, okay. This is jewelry, jewelry. So if you if you optimize your carrying object to the to the apex, um, then you can store way more things i wonder if i can put keys in the jewelry thing as well yeah we don't necessarily need to keep this but uh yeah and this can be also in jewelry too it doesn't have to be in the bag of holding right so if i do that uh then i can maximize you know what i can put in the bag because i need that bag to carry a lot of stuff so the jewelry is are in the jewelry bag. The potions are in the potion case. The key, yeah, can only be in the bag of holding. Now, where is that key for? Now, yes, keep it should open most of the doors of the fortress. Okay. Well, we can put it there for now. It's not a hindrance. We're going to put that here. Uh, we're going to put that there. We're going to sell it later. Okay. There you go. So now we have the potion case, which is pretty good. Thank you, stranger, for adding us in our time of need. Okay. Brother Paul, okay. Helm prays upon you, child, for your aid. As Brother Audrin said, there are two things that you will need within, and I shall give them to you now. The first is the holy symbol that shall allow you to pass through the seals of the prison. Uh, do not lose it, child. Without it, you cannot enter the keep, or if you are within, you will be trapped forever. The second is the ritual uh, scroll which will repair Helm's seal upon the keep. I need only uh, it only it need only be read aloud uh, in the presence of the imprisoned one. Uh, you require no special training to do so. Reaching the imprisoned one is the di is the difficulty. Wash's Keep was built many years ago to contain great horrors that uh, walked Faerun, but it was abandoned centuries before Helm restored its purpose. When Helm came to us, he asked half of our order to sacrifice themselves, to, uh, to become spirits guarding the keep and adding to the ancient seal that were already in existence. The spirit will guard against all who enter, but cannot be risen with, added to this the evil which 
has been drawn to this place by the infection of the imprisoned one and all these obstacles must be bypassed. When you finally reach the lowest level, you must open the final seal to gain access to the imprisoned one itself. I do not know what states he would be in. Read the ritual quickly before he attacks. Have you any other questions for me, uh, then, child? So how many levels are there in the keep? I believe there are five separate levels within the keep, the fifth of which is the lowest vault that allows access to the imprisoned one itself. Each of uh, each will have a seal that prevent access to the next level. I know little of what manner of the seal are in place, however, um, or how they might be overcome. They are meant to prevent simple access, however, so unlocking the seal will not be simple. Uh, yeah. Uh, why do I just not destroy the imprisoned one and get it over with? Oh, no, no, the imprisoned one must not be killed. If indeed uh, he even can be, Hell has strictly forbidden us uh, for even attempting, although I do not know why, perhaps death too would be a form of freedom. Hmm. I see. Is there anything you can tell me about what lies within the keep? Very little, child. We have been into the first level, uh, combating the creatures that assaulted us, but uh, uh, we were driven back before we could examine the first seal. It is an ancient archive and temple long and used. It may be a temple to Helm, I do not know. I did not get enough time to examine everything. I would suspect, however, that the clerics that once existed within were able to access the second level in some manner. Many of the old tomb within seem to be in good conditions. condition, perhaps somewhere they may be found more information on the other law levels and their seals. Okay. All right, let's go. As you desire, hand blessing upon you, child. Okay. Uh, okay, so I have to put that in the bag of holding, and this is the ritual, so we're going to put that in, the, in here. All right, so let's save and let's uh, get inside for the first level. We can come in and out. We don't have to, uh, we're not going to be trapped in here. Okay, so let's go here. Okay, it's cool, so very cool. Okay, so here's cool. Okay, so it's very, it's a little bit of gold, okay. Uh, hmm. Let's try to see if we can force it. Okay, let's try to see if we can Uh, am I gonna need the uh, Xayas for something? Anyway. Yeah, okay, great. Oh, antidote potions, that's very good. Uh, yep. I wonder if, nah. I don't think that that's, nah, 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 nah. That, that's not the, the thing that I think it is. Uh, I could I could just go out and 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 I didn't get it identified. Plus ten hit points. Oh, okay. I mean, having plus ah, oh, but uh, paladin. Yeah, I don't really care. If if it's a paladin thing, I don't I don't care. I can I can sell sell it here. I would, I would never use it. I would never have the need to it. So first first item, 20, 2700 gold. Great. Okay. 
Okay. I got him. Fair enough. Okay, let's take a blade uh, blade of roses. Okay, nothing to grab here. Oh da 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 da. We're gonna need Daystar. We have saving grace, minus 13, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, when is dead? I don't want to be level drain or... Come on, come on. Let's go. Yeah. Come on, right, come on. 2000, great. What is this? MS3 Ecology Appendix. This town warm tomb is written by the Sage Minister and uh, apparently uh, part of a much larger body of work contains detailed study of most of the strange creature from around Farin. The appendix. Uh, seem to refer to the newly discovered variation on normal breeds of creature of particular interest. Dense pudding, fire troll, fish and slime, magic golem. This is a rare type of golem. It's formed with a pure magic. It's completely immune to spellcraft as well as enchanted weapon. To my knowledge, only weapon without enchantment have any effect on this creature. Oh no. <laughs> We're gonna take this book. Uh, Tattered Parchment. This fragment of an ancient and tattered scroll is inscribed with an ornate calligraphy uh, with red. And the sacred book shall be placed upon the altar. Let the consecration wisdom of the holy word of place faithful. And let the bearing forth a final time in the joyous celebration of his name. Praise and triumphant to the eternities and the ritual is complete. Okay, so we're gonna need that as well. The, because apparently there's a seal in the first level. But we're gonna we're gonna keep this, right? And the reason why I keep the book is because it's giving me knowledge on how to fight. Like dense pudding, a relative of slime and molds. This pudding is relatively normal except when exposed to electricity or fire. Uh, when this occurs, this, uh, it splits into new pudding and can therefore be very dangerous so we need to attack it with normal weapons you know fire troll <laughs> though have been uh, created by a source of fire giant uh, for use of a servant and guard they are similar to the regular troll in most respect except but they are lava temperature skin and burning touch once they are defeated they can only be permanently killed by cold or acid you see so it's good to know you know, this for a fighter, this is absolutely paramount. Okay, what is this? Brief note in written while the looping has a script. The words seem to be almost nonsensical and babbling. Short, medium, square, make big muscles. No, okay. Oh, what is this? It's a manual. Okay. Can I wear the, the, yeah, no, I don't know what this is. Two thousand gold, another script. The bell that be rung forth a second time in honor of the Holy One. As his name shall forever ring across the land, let the ritual candle be lit in order of the Holy One, as his name shall forever be a glowing beacon to the faithful. Okay, I grab this and put it in there. Right, so you know, the, the gold I can't uh, increase, right? It's too dark to clearly make out uh, of the statue before you. However, looking at it leaves uh, with a feeling that you are being watched. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, far out. Level drain, energy drain, level drain. Two levels, okay. Oh, a case of plenty, unlimited bolt plus one. It's just for bolts, though. Are you see, and this is because of the boulder, uh, the boulder sword. I was able to identify what it was. I already have this. I don't need to have it a second time. I think it stayed the same thing, right? Yeah. Okay, so we don't, we don't need this. Okay, we have the bell. The bell is rusted and tarnished, though it still makes a sound when rung. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What is this? In memory of Gear of Gear Fam, the loyal archivist, arch archivist, he tended the fire, cared for the books, and sometimes even brought us our sleepers. May this the his spirit uh, endure forever. So he needs sleepers. That's why he says it's cool. Okay, we need to find his sleepers. But I want I want to get rid of this level drain. I wonder. Can, can I sleep? Yeah, I'm still level drained. I'm gonna need to have a uh, restoration. Okay, so let me um this I have the ring of of human influence, twenty one hundred. Five hundred. Ah, you see instead of seven hundred fifty is five hundred. Okay, I'm gonna need to rest. Yeah, I can sell the bolt in it. Like, the bolt, in it, like, I'm not using a crossbow. So. So, strange runes of wording are inscribed on the floor and walls around the doorway. Though, whether the purpose is to keep people out or keep something in is unclear. A warning above the door proclaimed, Cage within this holy wall, the imprisoned one forever lies beneath. Imps, okay. Imps, I gotta, I gotta, sorry, I gotta protect myself against uh, mental control. Uh, yeah, this will give me immunity to fear, which could be uh, useful. Um... Okay, so this is day star. We're gonna take the drinker. We're gonna go. Okay, so one guy is using fire. Huh? Uh, fire, 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 fire. Well, if he's using fire, uh, sorry, this is not the place. If he's using fire, we can use the ring of protection. That's right. That's right. Give me back the life that you are taking. Boom. All right. Let's save. Okay, so there are statues apparently. Okay, so as I got him, um, different status. In the center of the room is a large mirror, the magical gate to the lower levels of the dungeon. The portal appears inactive. So we need to activate it and we need uh, to have a ritual that can activate it. Okay, it caps. Um, I'm not afraid about the poison because I'm protected by the ring of Kangax. Okay, so I took damage. Let me take the drinker. Mm. 
By the way, I can also use saving grace because we're not doing mind control or anything. It's gonna, gonna make me harder to hit. And then I can use Blade of Roses. It's gonna increase the chance to hit and the amount of damage. Okay. What is this thing? Potion of superior healing plus 40. Wow, we're gonna keep that. Guys, this is amazing. Potion of superior healing. Okay, what is this? A war stone. Okay. This stone looks uh, as if it has been split in half. There is an inscription on it. Two towers to ever guard the tomb, two wards, two wards to now enter the room. Okay, so I need to find the other part, which is fine. And like in the other room, there, there appear to be no monsters in here. The runes inscribed on the floor and walls just inside the door to this room are similar to those on the main entrance to the temple. Okay, so that's the other part of the sigil. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we're gonna put another of this. Uh, summon a fiend, eight level, that's worth a lot of gold. There's a small shield there. Uh, can I identify with the body and shield or if I the body and a, a sword? No, that's fine. We're gonna put it there and we're gonna continue investigating. Place the book. Okay, place the book, the bell, the candle upon the altar. Celebrate the holy name uh, forever, praise and renown. Summon the faithful, gather at the altar, witness the glory and triumph, uh, ring the sacred bell as uh, as it's written in the ritual. Okay, so we're gonna grab this. What are those books, by the way? Like, History of Instagram, Story of Draws, The Dark Wars, yeah, cool. Oh, okay, well, I have Daystar. Um, oops, sorry. Uh, I have the Shield of Saving Grace, but, uh, I may want, um, where is it? I did identify this, it would be nice to see what this is. Uh, the Clock of Displacement. Uh -huh. Death save. Yep, yep, yep. So let, let's take this. Oh, it's not there. Hmm. Okay, let's take the cloak of displacement. Do that. It's going to increase our saving throws. And our save against death. Okay, there's a key. This key uh, is particularly intricate in our design. Okay. So much, uh, so much item. <laughs> How is that? Uh, tough guy, tough guy. Lead Red Psycho is a tough guy now. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, we are leaving no stone untouched. We are taking everything that we can. Okay, I don't know what kind of spell this is. So I gotta give myself as many immunities as I can. Um, Another room, okay, what is this? T 
Timber box, yeah. Ammo belt. Here you go. This is what I was looking for. What is that? Um, this shoulder belt is ideally suited to uh, shoulder sling, bullet, darts, arrow, or bolts. This is fantastic. This is another like you can go there and you can put you know extra arrows. So I'm not necessarily using them too much, but I can have you know specific arrows that I can buy from uh, from the sister uh, from the sisters there. That's what I was talking. Like I couldn't buy it from the sisters, but you can find it in the uh, in the uh, watcher skip, which is absolutely fantastic. But as you can see, we are getting kind of um, you know the the space there is getting uh, pretty uh, pretty small. Oh, two portions of superior healing. Okay. This note is written in a trembling, shaking hand. The winter chill on, on this holy place uh, seeps into the very marrow of my bones. Alas, I have misplaced uh, the timber box uh, for the earth. And without it, I am unable to lit the kitchen fire. The blizzard does not abate, and I fear, I fear the cold touch of the grave upon my heart. Okay. Uh, the note uh, is written in fine, following a uh, script of professional scribe. Regrettably, the old priest could not remember the holy passage to be read during the today's service. His noble soul is willing, yet uh, his aging mind failed him in his hour of need. Uh, perhaps the discreet embroidering of the perhaps chapter um, and verse into the slaves of the ceremony robe will alleviate future embarrassment. Okay. Well, I will put that note in here. Unlimited arrows. <laughs> so can you put that in here? Yes, you can. So I can, oh no, 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 that's not what I want. Of course you can put anything in the bag of holding, but you don't want to put, um, Don't want to put it in there, you know, you want to put it there. So if you want, you can, this is like uh, arrows plus one. So it's like infinite of this. So you don't even need to have that, right? <laughs> Which is pretty cool. Electricity. Okay, so I'm gonna take an electricity attack, guys. So I want to minimize the damage, I can just do this. Now I'm gonna have 50% resistance against electricity. There you go. Okay. Oh, the slippers. Mm. Okay. Okay. Here lies our fearful servant. Despite all our somewhat suspect memory in his later years, he served with duty and honor. If you wanted to, you could move the heavy lid and peer inside the sarcophagus. Let's see. For a thousand years I slept in peace, forgotten by the word beyond these temple walls. Now you dare disturb my eternal rest. Oh, I see you have brought my slippers. Oh, thought for, uh, may I have them? Sure, take the slippers. I apologize uh, for my undeserving reaction. I will take my slippers and let you finish your work here. Uh, look through the sarcophagus if you wish. Yeah, sure. Okay. 
So inside the sarcophagus lies the remain of an old pre uh, procession woven into the state of a ceremonial robe uh, in its following holy ritual. Um, chapter 12, verse 14, you make a mental note of it. Okay, open the portal of the holy temple. Perfect. Another note. This brief note is written in wild looping hazardous script. The words seem to be almost nonsensical. Shh, calm down, Storm. Medium gra green triangle gets Storm in hand. Okay. Itching on the Dale portrait, a man in priest robe chanting over the altar that uh, hold a book, a bell, and a candle. Okay, so we can put that in here. So uh, holding a book, a bell, and a candle. I don't have the candle yet. Okay, so wait a sec. Jellies, huh? Fish and slime. slime. Will split into new and independent creature when hit. It is vulnerable to fire, which kills it permanently. Jelly from a demon. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't see any. Um, I don't see any note there now instead when I think we'll apply to this. Uh, let's take a blade of roses. And uh, be careful to mind control. Yeah, I'm immune to poison. Twenty slashing damage. The Oka Jelly, okay. Okay. Let's take a plus uh, plus four weapon. Ah, oh, shucks. There you go. So that's why it's so important to have um, things where you can store items. I can't. Okay, so let's try to see if I can force it that way. I can't. Uh, some things that I are gonna need to come with, uh, which is fine. Which is fine. I, I'm, I'm not able to open them. The candle. Here you go. And now I, ca I can take the ammunitions, guys. This is what I'm re realizing. I can take it. I can take the ammunition and sell them. I don't need to leave them behind. It's just extra gold, you know. Okay, so I have the candle. A holy book. The tome in your hands uh, contain passage no numbered by chapters and verse. Or praise of the nameless forgotten deity. Okay, so yeah, it's not activated. Let, let's talk to the ghost. I think uh, I explored the entire dungeon. Yep. So, it's very cold. Okay. I think I need him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, but that's fine. It's 45 minutes already. So, I'm going to pause the video here. And in the next episode, we're going to solve the riddle of the first level of the Watcher's Keep. So, let me save.
boom so thank you very much guys for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe that really helps the channel and don't forget to uh hit that notification bell to be aware when i put new content and i will catch you on the next video bye